I didn't want to make a morality tale. I wanted to make something that was about people that were really complicated and really screwed up and that were constantly coming of age no matter what age they are. My name is Rai Russo Young. The movie is Nobody Walks in the U.S. Dramatic Competition at the Sundance Film Festival. Nobody Walks is a drama about a young artist who comes to stay in the pool house of a Los Angeles family and affects the lives of each family member. I've always kind of been fascinated with family dynamics, I think coming from sort of an unconventional family in some way. The delicate balance of those relationships and how they interact and change as you grow up is something that's fascinated me both in my own life. Then when thinking about making a movie about a stranger in a sense that comes into a family, I was interested in what it was like to look at a family from the outside. With one character kind of coming in, you begin and you end with this character and it follows that character into all the lives that they then affect, almost like dominoes. And so there's like a transference to, to different characters. It was really incredible working with Olivia Thurlby and John Krasinski. Both of them were really, really willing to just go there and kind of roll up their sleeves and get dirty and dive into the material and try it different ways. And that playfulness was really fun and free for everyone. Because we had a script all mapped out in advance and it was a more formal process in terms of making this movie, anticipating every single shot and what references were we using and who were we uh, appropriating and how, how did I want it to look and all of those elements. It's such a fine line and balance to then be on set and to not be too planned and to not necessarily say, okay, this is exactly how we're doing it and to allow like the actors and what the life of the environment to come alive and to really respond to that. If all of a sudden there's this amazing shadow that's creeping across the floor and you'd plan to shoot it over there, you know, it's like this kind of planning and then flexibility and be like, well, maybe we can move the scene so it's like around the shadow somehow and we can react to that naturalism in life or, you know, if somebody's arm hurts, like how does that affect the scene or, or whatever it is. That balance between spontaneity and tons of organized planning and having thought about the movie for years and seeing it in your head, it feels like that is one of the ultimate kind of um, push and pulls and challenges of making movies, especially when we're making this movie. I think it is a different kind of movie in some ways. First you have this idealized notion of who they are and how they operate and then how that starts to break down and that sometimes one little act or one mistake can upset it. And I wanted to show that in a really real way. 